In this video, we're going to look at the latest release of the NEC Contact Center and specifically the screen that a call center supervisor will want to run. This is a browser-based application called the Dashboard. The Dashboard shows an interested party information about the people assigned to answer calls called agents and the call groups called queues. Someone that wants to run a dashboard needs to have that capability added to their profile. If you're attempting to log in and are greeted to this, you will need to have the dashboard ability added to your profile. I just switched to the admin application that verifies that Ann and myself have the ability to run a dashboard. Also notice the warning that shows I have assigned two out of two licenses. Since these licenses are for concurrent logins, this may be okay. However, if a user is greeted to this, ask your phone system admin to add another license. So now that you are ready to run your dashboard, log in with your favorite browser and go to the URL that the phone system administrator gave you. You'll also need to know your username and password. Let's go full screen on this browser window. This is one of the tabs I've created. Yes, you can have multiple tabs so you can view a lot of live and summary information. This tab I've labeled Agents and Queues. Another is Summary Information. And my third is labeled Wallboard. You can give tabs descriptive names. Each tab can accommodate groups of tables, large single displays, or graphs. The person running the dashboard has the flexibility to size and move each individual display to the best viewing spot. While I don't want to spend too much time going over page creation, let's add a new tab and quickly build a display. So here are the steps to build a display. Go to edit mode. Click the plus sign to add a new tab. Give it a name. We'll call ours Call Center. Now let's add some content. Click the plus sign to add a display. We'll choose Call Center State and we'll name it Call Center State. Let's let this go across the entire width of the screen. It contains a lot of information. Now let's add another one. Let's do a call center summary. And let's look at it hourly, beginning at midnight. Since this display doesn't need to be full width, I could add another one to the right, but I think you get the idea of how easy it is to add a display. Let me show you a couple of things I really like. HTML and Audible alerts. You attach an alert to cells that you want to be alerted of. For example, let's say I want to know when there are callers in the queue. So I assign an alert like this.
Here I have a threshold that will alert me when there are more than zero calls in the queue. It will also change the background color to yellow. So now when there are calls in the queue, I get an audible alert as well as the color of the cell that I want the alert under turns yellow. The real value here is when I have the browser window minimized. When a call is in the queue, I get an audible alert and a pop-up. And when I click on the pop-up, it takes me to the page that has the alert. I hope you liked what you've seen. I wanted to stress the ease of setting up and configuring a dashboard that will show you what you want to see. I also wanted to stress both the audible and visual alerts on items that you are monitoring. Thanks for watching.